Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So, the other day I created a video on creating like this title in Photoshop and then we went on to animate it in After Effects. And if you want to watch that video, you can click on the screen now. But um, in that tutorial, I used a action uh, in Photoshop, which basically is a preset and I didn't show how to create that. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create Photoshop actions and um, basically create, showing you guys how to create this like light leak color grade preset, which is uh, basically this right here. Once it, there it is. And what's great about this is that you can apply it to all your Photoshop projects, and it can work you know for pictures. It can work for you know if you're doing graphics. The first thing we want to do is go up to Window and click on Actions, and that will bring up the Windows tab. And I have a few preset folders already in here, but we don't need to worry about those. Uh, what we need to worry about is creating a new folder or a new set. And I will click this folder icon down here and we'll call this one Light Leak uh, Pack or something like that. I don't know. And we'll call, we'll go ahead and click OK. And then next thing I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and click the new action button, which looks like the new layer button. But let's go ahead and click that. And we can go here and we can call this one Light Leak 1. And once we hit record, everything that we do in Photoshop, every command, every action, uh, will basically be saved into the um, into our set by set process. So um, everything we do from this point on, we just need to be careful of what we click on. So let's go ahead and click record. And now we are officially recording. So the first thing we want to do to create this lightly color grade preset is go ahead and let's create a new folder right here. And we can go ahead and title it. We can call it you know light leak one. Okay, and when we're done, we'll just hit enter. And um, next thing we should do is go to the adjustments little tab down here and click on gradient. And don't get that confused with the gradient map. It's just, just a gradient fill. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the gradient editor right here. And we're going to set the first color here to pure black. And then we're going to click OK. And then the color all the way to the right, which is a blue on my screen, we're going to set that to black as well. And when we're done, we're going to click OK, and then we're going to go ahead and reverse this as well. And then that basically it, we're done with this gradient fill and we'll click OK since we're done. And then once again, we'll go back to the adjustments tab down here and we will click on uh, gradient once again. And this one's a little bit more tricky, so um, be sure to pay close attention to what we're about to do. And I did not mean to do that. There we go. And um, we're going to add a few colors down here. So we'll set the first color here to just black. And we'll go ahead and click a point right here. So I'll add like another pin. And we'll set this to, you know, maybe red. And then we'll go to like midway here. And we'll set this to like, you know, purple. And I kind of changed the color of that by accident. So let me go ahead and set that back to red. Yeah. All right. Okay. And we have a purple. And let's go ahead and set another one. And we'll set this one to like blue. That should be fine. And then we'll go ahead and maybe click this last one down here and we'll set it to like a peach color. And that should be okay. And then what I'll do is, uh, well, basically right now we have uh, the pin up here at 100% opacity and this one at 0% opacity. So let's go ahead and maybe drag this one out just by a little bit. And let's go ahead and add another pin right here at the top and let's set the opacity down to 0%. And then let's uh, add uh, maybe another one, uh, I don't know, like right here. And I don't know, set, set this to like 100%. And let's set the last one to 100% as well. I don't know, maybe we'll set the uh, third pin here to like maybe 70% or something like that. Maybe, I'll say 80%. Okay, and let's go ahead and maybe drag this peach out a little bit. And maybe drag the blue out a little bit more. Bring the peach forward. Um, and maybe we'll bring the, drag out the purple down here. And... Um, it's looking pretty good. Maybe I'll set this down to 90%. Okay, so I like this a lot. And uh, what we'll do when we're done is we'll click on OK. And we need to set this to, um, we got to change the angle. So we'll go ahead and like lower that to like, I don't know, 8% or so, maybe 3%. Okay, and um, all that looks good. And when we're done, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then uh, next thing we need to do is right click our gradient fill to layer. And we're going to go ahead and select Create Clipping Mask. And then we're going to go to the uh, bottom gradient fill layer here. 
and we're gonna set that to screen. So actually, hold on a second. Uh, do not do not set that there. I have some problems setting that uh, from the uh, blending modes. Don't set it there. Let's go ahead and right click this and click on blending options, and let's set that to screen over here. I almost <laughs> killed the tutorial right there, but I uh, set it to screen and click OK. OK. So the next thing we need to do is maybe add a curves adjustment. So what I'll do is I'll probably click our light leaks folder here and I'll select curves. And um, this one we're going to get a little bit crazy with, but you know, let's go ahead and create an awesome look. So I'm going to go ahead and set the channel to red and let's go ahead and maybe move this up a little bit. All right. And just kind of trying to kind of create a unique look and you know, curves is absolutely fun to use, but right now I'm kind of just dragging these points down and kind of creating a little slope here. Now let's go to the green channel, and this time let's kind of maybe bring this one up, bring a point to the you know middle there, drag this one down, and slope it out there, maybe like that. Yeah, there we go. And let's go to the blue channel, and let's go ahead and bring that one up, and let's continue to bring these up a little bit, and then let's curve this one all the way down, and maybe we'll have like a little bit of a push up like that. Okay. All right, and everything looks good, and um, I think I'm happy with this look that we've created. So now that we're done with our, uh, you know, our preset, our Photoshop action, we need to go back to our actions, and we need to hit the stop button. Okay, so now that we're done recording, let me delete our Light Leak 1 over here, and then let's go to our Light Leak 1 in the um, Actions tab, and let's hit the play button. And it will apply the action automatically, and as you can see, uh, our uh, preset it has been applied and now we can apply this to uh, whatever you know project that we're working with however we do need to save the action so what we'll do to save the action is you know we'll click on like maybe the pack and then we'll go up to like our uh, you know this little tab up here in the corner of actions and we, we need uh, to say save actions and uh, it'll automatically bring you to your actions folder um, and what we'll do is just click save. So now let's go ahead and just delete this pack. So we can hit this trash can. And yes, I want to delete it. Um, in order to import brushes, we can go back to this tab up here and we can click on load actions. And here is our light leak pack and we just click open and there it is. And just to show you that it works just fine, we can go here and uh, make sure it's set. Click light leak one and hit the play button. And there is our preset. I gotta say, I love this feature of Photoshop, and guys, I hope you learned something in this video. Um, if this video has been helpful, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you have any requests for tutorials or questions, please drop a comment down below or hit me up on my social media networks, links in the description of this video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more graphic design, after effects, motion graphics, and filmmaking tutorials. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and hopefully, I'll see you soon.